A cornerstone of the Learn at Home process in Leon County is the Microsoft Teams product. And we've had several questions about how to access Microsoft Teams and sign in without any errors. So I'm going to walk you through that process. The first step is to open Google Chrome. That's the browser that most of our educational software has been tested in. Uh, and when you open Google Chrome, you'll want to navigate to www.leonschools.net slash launchpad. That's how we get to class link. That's a, a shortcut to go straight to the correct class link sign in page for Leon County Schools. So it redirects you to our sign in page. And you can tell that's our sign in page because it has the Leon County logo on it. You'll click the green login with username and password button. And then you'll want to sign in with your student ID number at edu.leonschools.net. That's the format of all of our student usernames. Your student ID number at edu.leonschools.net. In the next box, type your school password. For elementary students, this is usually their five-digit lunch pin. Middle and high school students set their own password. And then click the Sign In button. It should take you to your ClassLink Launchpad, which has icons for all of the academic software that we use. And you're going to want to find the purple Teams icon. It's labeled Learn at Home Teams. Click that icon. This starts launching Microsoft Teams, uh, but you may be prompted to sign in one more time to identify yourself to Microsoft Teams. And the way that it will ask you for that information is by asking you to, for a Microsoft sign-in. This is because our student accounts are provided by Microsoft. Uh, they're hosted with Microsoft. Um, but this throws a lot of people off because they think, why is it asking me for a Microsoft account? I, th I thought I was signing in with a student account. But all it wants you to do is just retype that student username, your ID number, at edu.leonschools.net. You may get one more prompt uh, asking you if you want to stay signed in. doesn't matter what you choose here, uh, yes or no. Just choose an answer and let it move on. Um, I usually choose no if I have multiple uh, people using the same computer. I don't want it to hold on to my login. Um, so then you'll be signed in to Microsoft Teams. And this is the web version of Microsoft Teams. It's the online version that runs inside of Chrome. So you can see your different classes. There's icons on the left side. We're going to talk about those in the next video. You'll get this message about notifications. You can close that out. But you'll probably want to find the Download Desktop app button in the bottom left corner um, is the best way to go. We don't want to always sign in to the web app. We want to use the desktop app because some of the features work a little better in there. Um, so click that download button and you'll see in the bottom left corner of your browser that the Teams installer is downloading to your computer. This download step only needs to be completed once on each computer that you use. When it finishes downloading, just click on the installer to launch it and it will automatically install Microsoft Teams onto your computer. It'll take you to another sign-in page. This time we're signing in to the desktop app and it should be the last time we have to sign in. Um, and it wants, again, your ID number at edu leonschools.net. That's always the username we use when we sign in as a student to any of our school software. And you may have to put your password in one more time as well. That's your lunch pin if you're an elementary student. So this will launch the desktop version of Microsoft Teams. Uh, that's what you'll want to use to access your classes and communicate with your teacher. And you should have the desktop icon now that you can reopen Teams from your desktop um, whenever you need to run it. If you are using an Apple or Android tablet, you can download the Microsoft Teams app from the App Store or the Play Store and use it just like you would use the desktop app. Most of the, the features of Microsoft Teams are available in the tablet version of the app. 
and they even have versions for the phone uh, that, that retain a lot of the features. Um, so you can install the app on those devices and you would sign in the same way with your student ID number at edu.leonschools.net as the username and your student account password, which again is your lunch pin if you are an elementary age student. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to go over uh, the details of how you would use Teams to access assignments, uh, chat with your teacher, or participate in audio or video meetings with your teacher. Thanks for watching.